My name is Paul Wolliver. The name of my company is Pinellas Power Products. This is my four function wireless remote control for Honda's new fuel injected EU 7000 IS. All of my wireless remote controls are four function as opposed to two function, which is all anybody else has. The two functions that everybody else sells for the generators are start and stop, and that's it. My four functions are start, stop, toggle in and out of economy mode, and turn the bottom outlet on and off by wireless remote control. The reason is the outlet, if you have a device that you wish had its own separate remote control, but it doesn't, you can plug it into the bottom outlet and turn it on and off with the generator's remote. Also, using the generator remote is a lot more convenient than having to carry two remotes out around. The economy mode is even more important. On all of the Honda generators, the starting procedure is to start it in standard run mode and then toggle it into economy mode. In fact, if you read the owner's manual, page 29, starting procedure for this generator, make sure that the eco throttle switch is in the off position it then goes on to say, if you wish to use the eco throttle system, turn the eco throttle switch to the on position after the engine has warmed up for two to three minutes. So what's the point in buying a wireless remote control that according to their own owner's manual does not work? Starting the generator with my wireless remote control would be start it, wait it for it to warm up for two to three minutes, and then press the economy mode button. And it flips it into economy mode. Let me go ahead and show you some of the features of this generator. It is different from everything else that Honda makes, largely because of the fact that it is fuel injected. Um, I have got my antenna routed through the same hole that Honda tells you to cut to run their wiring harness through. I had cut that out. In the installation instructions, I give you several options. You do not have to mount the antenna external to the generator. It does increase the range, but if you wish to mount it inside, you can mount it inside right behind the word Honda, but not inside the metal case. The metal case is a Faraday cage, which cuts the range down severely. Any metal case will cut down the range on a radio transmission. That being said, okay, the starting position on this generator is you turn the main switch. You notice this is referred to as a main switch on this one. All the other Honda generators, it's referred to as the engine switch because you turn it one click to the on position and the second click would be to engage the starter motor. On this one, it's called a main switch. The reason being that when you turn it on, it powers up the display. It does not power up the display on any of the other generators until the engine is actually running. On the fuel injected one, it powers up the main computer and the display, and the fuel injection system is now armed and ready to go. When you get ready to start the generator, you would press the start button, and it would initiate the start sequence, which is turn on the fuel pump until running regulated fuel pressure is met, and then engage the starter motor. Like so. I don't want to run it for too long inside a building because I don't want a lot of carbon monoxide. In fact, let me open up the door. So once you had the generator running, you would let it run for two to three minutes, and then you would toggle it into economy mode. And if you wanted to shut off the outlet, you would either unplug or shut off the light by the switch. Because Honda doesn't even turn that outlet on and off in any way, shape, or form. My remote control is what does that. Okay, so if you're going to use my remote control, the procedure is very similar. I wanted to keep the function of the remote controls consistent among all my remote controls and consistent with the generator. 
So the generator's controls are main switch, start button, eco switch, and we'll call this the outlet switch, simply plugging and unplugging. And to start the generator, you turn the main switch on, hit the start button, flip the eco switch, and then either plug or unplug. So now, to operate it by remote control, you turn the main switch on the generator to the on position. When the main switch in the generator is in the on position, because the fuel injection computer and the display are on, you've got a 160 milliamp draw. If you're going to be letting it sit for a while before you start it, you can shut the fuel injection computer down by remote control. And that would be clicking the main switch on the remote, which is button number two. So you'll see that I have shut the main switch off by remote control now. Turn it back on by remote control, and that's back off. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and start the generator and the procedure. If you were local, you'd turn the main switch on and push the start button. I'm going to do the same thing by remote control. I'm going to turn the main switch on, and then I'm going to push the start button. Let me go ahead and extend the antenna. Okay, so now the generator's running. If I wanted to walk over, I can turn it in and out of economy mode there. But I bought the remote control to use. So I'm going to turn it into remote control by the remote. Turn it into economy mode by the remote. And that's economy mode. That's standard run mode. And that's economy mode again. Then, if you did not have my remote, and you wanted to shut that light off, you'd have to walk over to it. Or if you wanted to shut off anything that was plugged into that outlet. With my remote, you push button number four. And it shuts off the outlet. If you wanted to turn the outlet back on again, you push button number four again. If you wanted to put it back into standard run mode from Eco, button number three is an Eco mode switch. I'll put it back into quiet mode so we can hear each other. And then to shut the generator off, we would use the main switch which is button number two, or we can use the main switch on that. I'm going to use the main switch on the remote. So the functions on my wireless remote work the same as the functions on the generator. It's four buttons, main switch, start button, eco mode, and outlet. If you wanted to, You'll notice here are the four buttons. If you wanted to, you could push the start or turn the start button silver by putting a drop of paint on it. That way it sticks out bright silver just like the start button on that. If for some reason you wanted to increase the range, keep in mind that my standard remotes have a range of approximately 400 feet unobstructed. But if you are inside a metal skin motorhome or metal skin travel trailer, it cuts the range to about half. This starts out at 400 feet, so it cuts it to 200 feet. If you need more range, I also sell a long range transmitter, which has a range of 2,000 feet. And of course, inside a metal building, it would cut it to 1,000 feet, which is still longer than any extension cord I've ever seen. If you've got a 50-foot extension cord, you're good. Next, we'll go ahead and take this outside and show you the range. There's two more things that I needed to make a point. I watched the earlier video. Uh, number one, the horrible rattling sound that you hear when the generator is in eco mode is caused by the cart that it's standing on. The cart just rattles and makes a horrible noise. Item number two, if you lose the remote while the generator is running or you lose the remote at any time or if the batteries in the remote go dead, or if you go swimming with the remote in your pocket. I mean, let's face it, things happen. But if something happens to the remote and the generator's running, you would simply shut the main switch off 
and then go ahead and restart it, and now the remote is no longer a factor of the equation. You're just wheeling it out of your garage to use, so you're going to be operating it by remote control, or if you're at your campground and you got it set up, you turn your main switch to the on position, and you'll see that these three lights flashed, and it's now a zero on the screen. But we're going to say that you don't want to use the generator for quite some time, and because the standby current draw on Honda's fuel injection computer and display is 160 milliamps, and then it drops to 140, and we want to drop that down to next to nothing, on the remote, you'll hit button number two, and you'll notice that this display will shut off when you shut it off by remote. And then, if you get ready to turn the main power on, you'll see that the three lights will flash, and that will come on when you hit the main switch on the remote. The main switch on the remote is now powered up. So we'll power it down again. So now we're going to say that you're camping. You got the generator, main switch on the generator in the on position, it's ready to go. You do not have to remember whether you left the generator on, off, or whatever. If you hit button number one, which is the starter button, nothing happens. You hit button number one on the remote, nothing happens. You then know that you left the main switch in the off position. So button number two is the main switch turn the main switch on, and now it'll either start by that button or button number one. If you wanted to so now we'll demonstrate the full range of it. Now that you see how it basically works, we'll turn the switch to the on position. I'll start the generator, button number one. I'll put the generator into economy mode, which is button number three. I'll shut the outlet off by remote, which is button number four. You'll see the light go off. Then I can turn the light back on by remote control. Button number four. We can put it back into standard run mode. Button number three. Or we can shut the generator off, which is the main switch. That's button number two. And now to demonstrate the range of it, I'll have my son hand down or head down the road. And you got your cell phone on you, right? Go. Go ahead and go to the 100 foot point. Okay. So now we have shut it off by the main switch on the remote. So the first thing we need to do is push button number two on the remote. And that turns the main on the generator back on. Then to start the generator, we push button number one on the remote, and that'll start it. Then to put it into economy mode, we're going to push button number three on the remote. Then to shut the outlet off, or the light, we're going to push button number four on the remote. To turn the outlet back on, we'll push button number four on the remote again to put it back into standard run mode we'll push button number three on the remote and then to shut the generator off we will shut off the main switch which is button number two on the remote okay go ahead and go down to the 200 foot mark Okay, so we shut it off by the main switch on the remote. So to turn the mains back on, we're going to push button number two on the remote. Then 
to start the generator, I want him to push button number one on the remote. Then to put the generator into economy mode, push button number three on the remote. There it is in economy mode. Then to push or to shut the light off, I'll have him push button number four on the remote. Then to with that cell phone breaking up. Then to turn the light back on, I'll have him push button number four on the remote. Then to put it into standard run mode again, I will have him push button number three on the remote. Then to shut the generator off, I will have him shut it off by the main switch, which is button number two on the remote. Okay, now go to the 400 foot mark. If you're familiar with my products, you're aware that my generator remote starts have a standard range of approximately 400 feet. If you need a longer range, I do have an extended range transmitter that will give you 2,000 feet of range. I have no idea why somebody would need to start one of these from 2,000 feet away. However, if you need it, I have it. Okay, he's down there now. Um, to start the generator up again, since we shut it off by the remote main, press button number two on the remote, and that powers up the main again. And then to start it, you'll press button number one on the remote. And then to um, go into economy mode, press button number three on the remote. To shut the outlet off, press button number four on the remote. To turn the outlet back on, press number four on the remote. To put the generator back into economy mode, push button number three, or excuse, yeah, standard run mode. Then to put it back into economy, number three again. And in standard mode, number three again. And then to shut the generator off, button number two. And as you can see, this does have all the features of my other generators, or all the features of my other remote controls. And it is ready and working and available for Honda's new fuel injected EU 7000 IS. We'll go ahead and shut the main on the generator to the off position.